So hello friends, today we will be discussing another topic of microbiology that is spirochetes. Okay, the most important topic, and you know, uh, it is such a you no know, such an important topic that we used to you know uh, it was a it, it is actually forming a big part of the medicine in the infectious disease part because it's pretty much involving every system uh, manifesting us to us in every system of your you no know, body once this disease happens. Okay, now. Uh, uh, before starting syphilis, I want to give you the family introduction. What spirochetes are? Okay, let me first tell you about spirochetes. Let me tell you about spirochetes. So spirochetes are basically thin, flexible. They are thin, flexible corkscrew motility showing organism. Corkscrew motility. They show corkscrew motility. Do we remember the last videos I sent you the links that you have to watch those motility concept? Did you saw that this was moving like you no, know, uh, that a corkscrew is moving, isn't it? So the corkscrew motility is shown by spirochetes and it is spiral shaped. It is spiral shaped. Okay, fine. It's basically the meaning is itself telling us. Spire means coil. What is keet? What is keet? Huh? What is keet? Princess people must be knowing this. Keet means hair. Keet means hair. Okay, the name itself is telling us. Now we have, we have you no know, many uh, um, people in this family. We have, you know, Triponema uh, genus. We have uh, Leptospira. We have Borrelia. Okay. So if I talk about Triponema, we have Triponema pallidum, Triponema pertuni, Triponema endemicum, Triponema keratium. If we talk about the Borrelia, we have Borrelia burgdorferi. So many easy, easy names to remember. You know, you can you guys have learned it. Borrelia recurrentis, Borrelia vincenti, Borrelia dutoni, Borrelia haramsi, Leptospira interrogans. Leptospira interrogans. I'm giving it just a review, 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 so that your brain catches that in the second phase. So Triponema pallidum is causing syphilis. Triponema caryatum is causing pinta. On pinta, pinta. Okay, not pintu, pinta. Triponema pertuni yaws causes yaws. Triponema endemicum causes endemic syphilis. Endemic syphilis. Endemic syphilis okay okay i speak in a rhythmic way okay so that you learn endemicum endemic syphilis triponema pallidum syphilis triponema caritum pinta what pinta borrelia is causing what borrelia has many many species it has recurrentis recurrentis causes epidemic relapsing fever tutoni causes endemic relapsing fever again Vincenti causes Vincent's angina. Bugdorferi causes Lyme's disease. Is it clear? Just making a revision, okay? Just as letting you know. But you have to know what you don't have to know. And now, you know, it's that ancient disease, the story of a uh, no, shepherd boy. His name was Syphilis. Okay, the name is coming from that he was uh, Syphilis. The Syphilis disease is basically coming from that ancient word. What that boy? Okay, so um, it was actually a poem written on in the back, you no, know, back in 1500s. So he got that shepherd boy had this disease, his name was syphilis, and then it said, This is syphilis. Okay, so many of you are reading novels. I don't read novels, but I read this thing. Okay, so let us uh, let us first tell you the spirochete what are the features of all spirochetes because since spirochetes so many things are coming we have triponema we have borrelia let us take a general overview so that we can understand that they are having these features if i take spir spirochetes spirochetes means in it it is also coming what botadella borrelia sorry leptospira triponema okay now they are box screw shaped they show uh, they are spiral shaped okay they are spiral shaped they show what motility cork screw motility cork screw motility 
fine easy to remember now they have a special thing in their cell no structure that is called endoflagella endoflagella they have endoflagella this is also called called as shattered shattered flagella shattered flagella shattered flagella okay now if you have learned i have taught you the periplasmic space what is the periplasmic space from the inner membrane to the outer membrane from the inner membrane to the outer membrane whatever space you were having that was the periplasmic space go to my lectures of basics of microbiology i have taught it periplasmic space is the space in which this endoflagella is present that means this endoflagella is covered by outer membrane isn't it that means it is covered by outer membrane so endoflagella is having uh, covered by this endo membrane okay and it has as axial filaments axial filaments axial filaments now what is the way what is the way they are dividing what is the way they are dividing they are dividing how see if you have seen this was one cell one bacterial cell if it had to divide it was dividing like this binary fission is it binary fission but in this case of spirochetes what you see you see a different type of a fission that is called transverse fission transverse fission what is transverse fission they are dividing like this clear they are dividing like this okay is it clear these are some important points what you have to remember about spirochetes now i tell you now i tell you see you want to see them how to see them how to see spirochetes how to see spirochetes either you can see them by dfm what is dfm what is dfm dark field microscopy dark field microscopy or you can use a method see light microscope will not show you this i want to i want to stress this thing light microscope normally will not show this he won't show you the spirochetes he won't show you the spirochetes so what you will be doing is you will be using a method please underline that method the method is known as silver impregnation method silver impregnation method what is silver impregnation method what we do is we coat this bacteria we coat this spirochete with with a with a with a let me make a silver why it's not coming here we coat it with silver nitrate we coat this with silver nitrate we coat this with silver nitrate okay once we coat this silver nitrate this silver nitrate will be converted will be reduced by this bacteria to silver nitrite silver nitrite i had to make like this sorry i had to make like this so silver nitrate was this bacteria it is getting converted to silver nitrite which is black which is black so you had this bacteria spirochetes and this is now getting converted to so your agno3 is getting converted to nitrite nitrite okay okay this is called silver impregnation method then you can see it under the light microscope okay now we have two stains do we remember the stains no you do, we don't remember the stain we have fontana stain and levaditi stain we had fontana stain long time back we read once upon a time in 1900s okay once upon a time fontana stain 
levitative stain. Now you have a sample where to use this stain. I will tell you that also. If you have a sample that is from fluid, that is fluid sample, that sample, that specimen, which is fluid, you will use Fontana stain for fluids. Fontana stain for fluids, fluids, okay? And levitative stain, levitative stain for um, any solid tissues, okay, tissues. So for fluids, you will be using Fontana stain and for tissues, you will be using levitative stain, fine? Now I want to bring you, this was all about the general features. I want to bring you into the topic syphilis. First, I want to tell you the members in this group, the genus. So spirochetes, you have to remember three genus, spirochetes. The genus are, the genus are, why it's not writing, yeah. The genus are number one, triponema, triponema, second, Leptospira and Borrelia. Borrelia. Okay. Now, Triponema is causing what? It is causing syphilis. It is causing syphilis. Okay. Now, syphilis is of two types. Either it can cause venereal syphilis. Or it can cause non-venereal syphilis. Once I tell you about syphilis, you start speaking. Little syphilis, secondary syphilis, light syphilis, syphilis. I don't know what, what machine you open. First, you should know whether, whether it is venereal or whether it is non-venereal. Okay. So venereal syphilis is being caused by triponema pallidum. Venereal syphilis is being caused by triponema pallidum. Triponema pallidum is causing venereal syphilis. Venereal syphilis is being caused by triponema pallidum. Triponema pallidum. Okay. Now, listen to my words. This was caused by Triponema pallidum. Fine. Who is causing non venereal syphilis? What is venereal? Venereal means sexually transmitted. What is venereal disease? Sexually transmitted disease. Is it clear? So don't think that syphilis is, you know, something that every uh, person has, um, you know, he has engaged in any sort of, uh, you know, uh, activity, a uh, sexual activity. No. It can be due to some blood transmission also. We don't know. Okay, don't know. So, uh, but I wanted to say, yeah, I wanted to say this non-venereal syphilis. A non-venereal syphilis, it can be uh, caused by three varieties. Again, we will go into that triponema. We have triponema pertuni, triponema keratium, triponema keratium. Third, Triponema endemicum. Triponema endemicum. These are causing non-venereal syphilis. Non-venereal syphilis. What is Pertuni causing? Pertuni causes yours. Pertuni causes yours. Keratium causes Pinta. Keratium never, keratium causes pinta. I will be telling you on mnemonic later on, okay? Keratium causes pinta. Endemicum causes bejal. What? Bejal. What is that? Endemic syphilis. It is not pile, it is bejal. Okay, now see, now see, how to remember, sir, we have a problem, how to remember, we, the full medical world knows that how we remembered is Pinta, that 
पर्टनी नेवर कॉजेस पिंडा पर्टनी नेवर कॉजेस पिंडा हु कॉजेस पिंडा कैरेटिन इज इट क्लियर पर्टनी नेवर कॉजेस पिंडा देन हु कॉजेस पिंडा कैरेटिन इज दिस इज हाउ वी रिमेंबर आर वी गेटिंग माय पॉइंट्स और नॉट आई एम अगेन स्पीक आई एम सेइंग पर्टनी नेवर कॉजेस पिंडा यू कैन सी द इमेज पर्टनी नेवर कॉजेस पिंडा पर्टनी Never causes pinta. It causes yours. Then who causes pinta? Keratium causes pinta. <laughs> this is how I remember. Okay, all medical students learn by this. So, keratium causes pinta. Perthini never causes pinta. Who causes pinta? Keratium causes pinta. Who causes pinta? Who causes pinta? This is so important to remember. At least one question will come from this. This has been the you know asked many times. Keratium, keratium. Who causes pinta? Keratium. Okay. Easy. Now, will this triponema be sharing all these features what we learned above? Spiral shape, micro aerophilic, corkscrew motility, spiral shape. Isn't it? It will be doing all those. It will be having all those features because we have read the general features. That's why I told you we have read the. general features of spirochetes general features of spirochetes is it clear or is it is it not clear okay so how this is spreading how this disease happens this happens if venereal you are seeing if venereal uses sexual contact what here what you will write venereal is sexual contact multiple partners or something non venereal how is it spreading sir it can be by direct contact let me write with this pen can be by direct contact it can happen by blood transfusion or also vertical transmission what is vertical transmission placental mother to baby okay vertical transmission i have taught you i think vertical transmission all the definitions are clear all the definitions are clear there is no need to explain everything again and again okay how much number of organisms you will be getting inside will be making your incubation period less if you have more of the organisms inoculated inside you will have less incubation period more in the zillet once you have more amount of infection you will be having less incubation period what is incubation period time from the infection to the onset of first symptom to the onset of first symptom that is the incubation period that period will decrease because you are having the more infected dose you are having the more infected dose okay now if i go into triponema pallidum let me take this disease very separately and understand it clearly triponema pallidum triponema pallidum guys i'm again telling you the most important disease everywhere you will read all the subjects of medical science you will be reading this disease i'm telling you it is manifesting in every system ophthalmology ent pediatrics uh, you know uh, radiology everywhere okay so triponema if you understand basics it will be definitely clear at that time clinical subjects so triponema pallidum is basically having it is having two strains it is having two two strains okay or you can say species so one strain is pathogenic strain another is non pathogenic strain non pathogenic strain okay pathogenic strain non pathogenic strain pathogenic strain non pathogenic strain pathogenic strain is called what nicole strain non pathogenic is called reiter strain reiter strain guys reiter strain which of the following is cultivable this is the most important question they will ask which of the following is cultivable this one is cult cultivable do we know leprosy we were cultivating it on the Armadillo feet, isn't it? So cultivable, cultivable 
in what in which media important media smith noguchi media smith noguchi media what the way to pronounce is to let you understand the smith noguchi media what what media can you speak with me smith noguchi media what noguchi media okay reader is smith noguchi media what what did i say you have to speak with yourself it's important you have to speak smith noguchi media have you spoken have you spoken or you are smoking to something else smith noguchi media nikol strain is what it is non cultivable you have to cultivate it by how how will you cultivate it any one of you can tell me how we will cultivate it we can cultivate you know cultivable means in the laboratory we are seeing but where where you can cultivate we we can cultivate in the testicles of rabbit testicles of rabbit what we do is we will be doing a method that is called serial passage method what is serial passage that is i will take one testicle infect it and then take the strain and then infect the other testicle with that strain and the chain reaction series series serial passage i will be using to cultivate this spirochete so readers smith noguchi media smith noguchi media is it clear smith noguchi media what about nicole 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 means no nicole means no nicole means no that is not cultivable then what rabbit rabbit testicle rabbit testicle is it clear rabbit testicle okay have you learned it okay so transmission you know transmission you know also no no need to confuse in transmission also sir venereal type sexual type non venereal type direct contact uh, blood transfusion so if they ask you what is the most common mode of transmission if they ask you what is the most common mode of transmission it is sexual remember remember sexual is the most common sexual is the most common now going into the going into the pathogenesis going into the pathology going into the pathology now syphilis syphilis uh, syphilis can be divided into based on the phases we divide it into um uh, how much primary secondary latent tertiary congenital at least five stages okay but fifth stage is not a stage is basically the disease congenital syphilis i can't bring it in stage but at least four stages a primary secondary latent and tertiary so i should write syphilis is primary secondary tertiary not tertiary latent comes in between them latent and tertiary okay don't make any mistake so primary pri primary means pa 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 painless painless ulcer will come on the genital what the patient will do is once he sees the ulcer on the genitals he will think he won't be having pain so what will happen he won't come to you he won't come to you he will say oh it will resolve so that will spontaneously resolve by 4 to 6 weeks he will see on the genitals i hope you remember genitals male as penis female as genital area isn't it so he once a male patient sees his penis he says a hunterian shankar what is it called hunterian shankar okay hunterian shankar okay do you know shankar shankar okay i will be teaching you shankar don't worry so hard why it's not writing hard hunterian shankar hard hunterian shankar it's not shankar it's shankar okay so it's like a you know exudate a very thick exudate on that region thick exudate thick exudate and it will resolve it will spontaneously resolve by 4 to 6 weeks 4 to 6 week it will resolve so once you check his external genitalia once he sees the external genitalia he will be seeing what he will be seeing a shanker we seeing a shanker a hard shanker will be painless the character is painless 
and is well indurated so in males where what is the most common site what is the most common site in males it is penis in males it is penis in females the most common site is cervix or labia cervix or labia okay cervix or labia okay also the patient will come to you with regional lymphadenopathy in primary syphilis regional lymph adenopathy regional lymph adenopathy in regional lymph adenopathy he will be coming to you with remember my words what i will say painless form non superative bilateral painless form bilateral non superative lymph adenopathy what painless means his inguinal lymph nodes do we know the inguinal lymph nodes yes sir these are the legs of the patient this is the genital and here in the inguinal region the lymph nodes they will get swollen they will show inflammation that's why we call it painless firm they are firm they are not they are not they are firm and they are non superative they are non superative okay and bilateral that is both sides involved bilateral is it clear now i will tell you a uh, now i will tell you a tip okay if you want i can tell you a tip if you want me okay how will you identify see look at me look at me look at me everyone everyone look at me see if the person has gone through a venereal mode if he had if he had gone through or i will tell you like this if that person did not do anything okay if he did not do anything very innocent guy okay or innocent girl okay he did not do any sort of a sexual contact there was no sexual contact but still had syphilis if she not or he did not uh, had any sexual contact so where will the first primary chancre come it won't be on the genital area it will be on the fingers it will be extra genital remember if it is transmitted by direct contact the chancre will be extra genital remember this concept so if she or he had a direct contact with this pyrochete their primary chancre will not be on the cervix or on the penis it will be on the extra genital side that is outside the genital side that means usually seen on the fingers so their primary chancre will be at extra genital side is finger that is finger fine if the patient came to you but he had syphilis transmitted by blood transfusion his primary chancre will not form he won't be having a primary chancre it will not happen so what points you remember one point you remember sir if he had a direct contact the primary chancre will be extra genital he will be having that on the fingers mostly usually if he had a hematogenous spread if he had a hematogenous cause blood transfusion what will happen he his primary chancre will not be formed at all okay so blood transfusion no primary chancre no primary chancre direct contact primary chancre but extra genital sexual we know that when real will be showing us primary chancre at the genital site is it clear okay what about secondary syphilis secondary syphilis is secondary syphilis is mostly showing us what secondary syphilis mostly shows us skin rashes skin rashes this was showing us chancre painless also this was showing skin rashes and once you look he patient looks at his palms and soles what palms and soles my son writing palms and soles his palms and soles will be having pigmentation his palms and soles will be having pigmentation and he will be having his oral cavity once you see his oral cavity we actually used to in the medical school we used to joke with each other okay my classmates uh we i used to say yeah i used to say if you don't give me this thing you will have condylometalitis okay condylo 
metalator what is condylometalator these are mucocutaneous papule remember mucocutaneous papule mucocutaneous papule will occur in the this is a mucocutaneous region that is called condylometalator condylometa later condylometa later okay so what do you remember in primary primary sir we had a primary chancre we had a exudate and in secondary we have pigmentation on the soles we have skin rashes we have condylometa later in the secondary condylometa later in the secondary okay third phase is the latent phase third phase is the latent phase latent phase means latent means hidden if i go into greek terminology latent means hidden like we had latent heat what was latent heat in physics it was hidden heat latent heat of vaporization same way latent here means i don't know i don't know isn't it i don't know what you don't know what you don't know you don't know the clinical features there is no clinical feature in the patient there are absent clinical feature absent clinical feature but patient is infectious but patient is having infection patient is infectious but patient is infectious patient is infectious what will happen to the latent phase what will happen to the latent phase is we will continue it tomorrow continue it tomorrow in the next video i hope you have enjoyed take care and see you all bye bye